hello everyone in this video i am going to show you a really interesting feature that is nothing but external logins as you can see these days each and every website provides either gmail login or facebook login so we have implemented gmail login here so i am really excited about this video let's see now instead of logging in with username and password which is stored on this portal instead of registering on this portal i can use my existing gmail account username or password to authenticate this app so i need not to have separate registration i can use my existing registration with gmail now it asks me so i'll go for i'll say sign in now it is authenticating me and we are back with login you can see that it says welcome md.manzurahmad@gmail.com as md.manzurahmad is already registered with this portal so it is mapping to that same account now i'll simply sign out now i'll log in with a different user now i need to even sign out from here as well now i'll say sign in with gmail i am logging with some dummy gmail account i'll say sign in if a user is signing in for the first time it will ask the permission from the end user if end user accepts it then it is going to create a user by this name and user gets logged in you can see that now a user can submit a url and user can say sign out now i will log in with admin that is nothing but peter now i should see that rakesh in the user list you can see that user is over here so we have successfully log in with gmail let us see how to implement this so here i have my old app let me put a link here first of all so i'll go to area security view login so here i'm going to put an extra link or you can log in with this or you can simply log in with gmail so i'm adding an action link that is log in with gmail and it is going to redirect to an action called as external login of the controller login and i'm passing a parameter name provider value google so i need to create this external login in the login controller i have login controller so here i need to add an action that is external login so i have added an action Call as external login. It is accepting this provider. Let me put a breakpoint. It should come. I haven't done any new thing here. Simple link I have added, and I'm redirecting it to external login. So I get this link. So I'm coming here with this. Now till this, it's fine. We have done any new thing. Now, the thing that I need to do here is I need to go and add a new get packet. That is nothing but say. manage new get package here i'm going to add oauth so this is the oauth library that i need to add i'll say install i'll say close so i have installed oauth so this is the library that support external authentication so we have two concepts in this one is open id another is oauth now the concept of open id is something in simple terms i can say that if you want to perform external authentications against 
some portal you need not to register with that portal or you need not to register an app with that portal or you don't need an security key from that portal say for example gmail i need not to register my portal with gmail to give gmail login to my portal if i am working with facebook i need to register my portal with facebook to get login with facebook on my portal i hope you might have understood the basic difference between open id and oauth so anyway the class library here is oauth for both now let me execute this so here i get an error for the custom provider actually this is an open issue with microsoft so i just googled and i found i need to add two keys in app setting that is enable simple membership and auto form authentication i need to set it to false i'll save this now i should be able to execute this this is usually because of the libraries that we have added so it is the fix now whenever i say external login from here i need to send it to gmail so before i do that let me rebuild this so rebuild succeeded so i have a single line of code that it sent to gmail so o auth web security so this is the class which is present in sys microsoft dot web dot web pages dot auth dot request authentication and I am passing the provider name that is nothing but Google and after authentication it should come back to an action this is callback action external login callback so after giving after taking username and password and after performing authentication from Gmail portal I need to come back to this action so this action is ready with me so this is callback action so i'm not doing any much logic here for now so before i go for execution i need to perform some settings in the global file that is nothing but i need to register this provider so how do i do that let us see now i'll go for global file and here i'm going to register google client oauth web security dot register google client and here I'll use the namespace and finally I'm going to register that provider here oauth config dot register provider so that's it this is the setting that we need to do and let me execute this I'll say login with gmail now it should take me to the gmail account page so here I have so I'm logging in with Manzoor Ahmed and I'll say sign in now you see that it is sending me back to external login callback so here I need to write my logic so it will be sending me a result object and I need to check with the result object whether the user is properly authenticated or not if authenticated that user exists with this local database or not if user exists then I need to give access to my portal else I need to create that user and give access all those logic I need to implement here I'll say F5 so you can see this oauth web security dot verify authentication it is going to return me an object of authentication result that is nothing but result result dot is successful means the username and password that we have provided on the gmail is not valid if it is not valid then it will be false if it is valid then it will be true that means if it is a valid user then i need to check whether that user exists with my local database or not if user exists then i need not to create that user in my local database if user does not exist then i need to create that user in my local database then I need to set auto cookie for that user. So form authentication dot set auth cookie is same logic that we wrote earlier. 
and I'm calling a method that is nothing but create user if does not exist and I'm passing user email so I need to implement this method say generate stuff f12 create user if does not exist and I'm passing user email as we know very well that we have implemented membership providers or custom membership providers so any operation related to the user that is creation deletion you know anything we need to perform in this class so I need to call another method from here that is nothing but I have created the object of membership class then I'll say p dot create user if does not exist and user email is nothing but whatever I am getting from the controller so instead of p let me name it as user email and user bs is the object that I am getting from the base class this is the object of user class so I am passing that to check whether this user exists or not with the help of that object and if does not exist then I need to create it so I'll implement that F12. So here I need to implement that class. So I'll say user bs object dot get all and check for the user email and count that particular record. If it is zero, that means it does not exist. Then I need to insert user, new user. So while inserting new user I am using the same user email and I am assigning the role as you and password I am setting it as default password 12345. So it's up to your implementation how you implement. You can set password to null if you set allow null or you know you if you want to handle how do you want to handle the information it's up to you. So once it comes back then it is setting auth cookie then everything should work as expected let me remove these breakpoints go for login login with gmail now i'm logging in with md.manzurahmad now it should give me access to the portal why because i have already registered with mandur Ahmad. yes this is really good i have logged out from this portal and i need to even log out from gmail as well if i am trying it with some other user now i am trying it with some other user johnny hilton now we know that Johnny does not exist so it is going to create that user then give access so we have got Johnny Hilton I'll sign out now you can submit a URL now I'll sign out so that's it this is very simple we have successfully implemented login with Gmail thank you very much